All right, everyone, good morning. This week, I have been traveling all across Indiana trying to thrift to as many thrift spots as I can possibly find. I've been thrifting a ton and traveling a ton to get a good, a good little original video out for you guys today. But yeah, let's get into thrift number one. Um, we start north and we're gonna be traveling down south throughout, uh, throughout the video. So uh, hopefully I can keep it all organized and you guys can kind of see how I do. I'm not gonna be telling anyone kind of like where I'm thrifting that type of stuff because I have friends that thrift in certain areas and I don't want to kind of gaslight their area they thrift in or where I got the stuff. So it'll just be kind of a mystery, but I did go from north to south Indiana and you guys will be able to see that and check that out. So enjoy the video. We're gonna start with thrift number one. All right, thrift number one started out with this really nice juicy couture, kind of baby top and the nice pink colorway. Super good glam piece for Depop. Little quote t-shirt and two of these Y2K Nike swishy pants. I sell these all day for around like 40 bucks, so I had to pick those up. Same with these cotton Nike ones, they still sell for around 30 bucks. And we got the pretty University Champion sweats with the Marilyn Monroe tee. And then this 2005-2006 tour for the Rolling Stones long sleeve. Nice little Harley Davidson fleece. We had a bunch of good biker pieces in this little haul. The Sloppy Joes from Florida long sleeve with the flames. And then we got 2008 Milwaukee, again with like the flame graphic going down the sleeve. The Harley Davidson three quarter length. And then three women's Harley Davidson tops. They'll sell all day in the flea market for like 15 bucks. Then we got a nice quote tee, another Harley Davidson super faded out t-shirt. We got an Indianapolis Zoo vintage t-shirt with the otter. And then we got this funny squirrel. It says Feed the Birds. Nice little t-shirt. The White Sox 2001 tee. And then a beautiful Marlboro Coyote Bluff t-shirt. Don't see these a lot and they always sell really quick and well for me. So I'm glad to pick that up all day. The Absolutely Smashed. Nice little Panama City Beach Spring Bake long sleeve. And then we got an Ed Hardy t-shirt. Might be a boot. And then we got the Idle Wild. It's a movie promo t-shirt. Never seen it before. The Australian Koalas t-shirt. Mossy Oak, Deadstock, Long Sleeve Camo. Hurricane Ridge, I wouldn't pick this up if it wasn't single stitch, but I just decided to grab it. And then we got a nice True Religion denim jacket. They'll sell really well. And should get around like 40 bucks for the jacket for $5.99. And then we got a nice Columbia. I don't really pick these up typically, but this one had a cool pattern band around it. And a beautiful Nike crew neck. Again, that's a nice $40, $50 piece with a Virginia crew neck. And then a beautiful faded out brown Reebok hoodie. Big size, and I think I should be able to get 30 to 40 for it. And at this stop, we also grabbed this Diodora soccer windbreaker that came out and this vintage Disney Halloween crew neck. These are some pretty cool, funky hiking pants. They're Under Armour brand, but I like the double knee going all the way down. I think they'll sell for me and they're a good color. And then this one was crazy, this Polar Care Wave. It's like a physical therapy device, brand new in package. I looked these up. You should get at least 200 bucks for this all day. At this stop, we grabbed two quick little camouflage pieces. I always pick up camo, especially the real tree stuff. And then we got this nice little long sleeve here as well. This one's a mossy oak, but still pick it up because it's a nice fade to it. Some Y2K pieces, the Extreme Couture, nice little affliction, kind of spoofy piece. And then we got this red cross t-shirt and a nice little hiking bag. All right, NG Dub. Got this really nice North Face Rainier tent for a really good price too. I looked online, these were like $80 to used. Um, where's the $5.99. And then get this Husky tool bag. These sell really well for the same price, around that 80 to 100 mark from what I saw. Has a small little thing right there, but eBay, $5.99. And then we got a Jansport, big hiking bag. They were charging $14.99, which is a great price. Again, I think I can get around 100 to 200 for that. Get a couple military bags for the flea market. The Alaska Vintage Crew Neck. And we got this really amazing Purdue baseball jersey. Um, wish that would go with some future future uh, projects. And then a really nice vintage Falls Creek, just thick patterned with the little bottom hit down there. Some nice little hole for just a quick stab. I've been to this Google three times today, so just the other military bag. At this stop, we got this baby Minnie Mouse windbreaker. This is perfect for my daughter. Should be able to wear that here in a couple months, so I'm excited. Then we get a Y2K kind of grungy t-shirt with this beautiful fall patterned cardigan sweater. Nice thick quality to it. And this one we ended up leaving. It had a hole I did not see. But then we got this Purdue vintage hoodie here with a really good fade to it. The mail guy just came by when I was carrying these out. 
dropped off a couple packages here. Now, they're both from Ryan Roots over at Rally Roots, which I'm sure if you watch my content, you know who they are because they're one of the biggest like YouTube reseller platforms out there. And uh, me and Ryan have done a business in the past before and um, he's a good guy. So thank you so much, Ryan, because you sent me a personal grail of mine that I've been wanting from a long, for a long time for a steal of a price too. Um, so I paid $40 shipped for the Indiana University Little 500 Simpsons kind of bootleg t-shirt. Definitely it was made for like a fraternity or something like that. Or they just sold them in like the bookstore. I'm not sure. But um, Fruit of Loom tie right there, single stitch all the way around. This t-shirt is an absolute banger. You got Bart wearing the IUT. I love this one. I've had it, I've had this exact shirt, I think once in the past um, when I went to IU. And then the same day they were doing a whatnot live. And then these were these were really good price too. Um, I wanna say I paid like 200 for all of these, which is a really good deal um, considering what they are. So first up we got Zippy for president. Am I elected yet? Really cool shirt um, on this. I love this tag so much. The old like 80s uh, Hanes tag right there. Zippy for president. Am I elected yet? Very funny. Very cool t-shirt. This one though is one of my favorites. Um, this is the fourth annual New York City tattoo convention. Pretty wild uh, graphic there. I'm not going to show it one off much because of that graphic. And then um, this one's wild too. This is like 80s, I believe it's like an 80s anvil tag, I think. It's pretty worn down. Special Forces Hunting Club open season on commies. Super crazy shirt there. I got this for an absolute steal too. I think I, I paid less than like 20 bucks for this one, so that's, that's crazy. And this was the best one of them all in my opinion though. Um, this shirt has many different price ranges. I'll pop a comp for you. Um, from like eBay, but it's just an all over print, crazy bones in the hood, double sided, all over print t-shirt. Love this one. Absolutely crazy piece. Back up the thrifts. I got some nice little rock and roll Y2K pieces. This Metallica one, I usually leave these because I have a nice back print to it with the tour dates. And we got a Dolphins tie-dye t-shirt, the New York Big Apple, and then a nice pair of Deadstock Levi's with a pair of Y2K cargos, really wide leg, and then a nice camouflage puffer reversible jacket with a Tony Stewart Chase Authentics crew neck. Nice fade to it. At this stop, we picked up this Y2K US vintage hoodie with a 80s New York t-shirt. Really good fade on it. And then we got a pair of Ariat denim, great brand to find, with a Tom Brady, nice little red. I like that jersey a lot. The Hard Rock Cafe denim button up, a classic with another Purdue piece. Nice little fade on that one. And then a Nike white hoodie. Those sell all day for me, so I picked them up when I can for the price. The vintage Tennessee on the Short Hills blank. Unfortunate, could have been a wrap tee. Then we got a US soccer Nike jacket. And then a nice Aeropostale Y2K hoodie. Good fade and wear on that one. I think it will sell. At this stop, we picked up this Harley Davidson woman's top. And then a really pretty floral type cardigan button up with a Nike t-shirt and then an M&M long sleeve. The A-holes live forever. I found a couple of their re pieces recently and they sell really well on the flea market with some more Nike swishy pants. And we got a pow. I thought this was just ironically funny, random cat. And a really cool Polar Ralph Lauren equestrian hoodie. Big old overprint, super cropped and oversized. I think it'll sell really well. Then we got the Mickey Legends crew neck. Annapolis Colts champion piece. And then a Levi's Panatella. I love this design from the 70s with the Purdue quarter zip. Nice little fleece. And then we got the Roxy Women's Y2K top with a Halo Spartans Master Chief. I think this is a woman's piece as well with a Colts turtleneck. I like those and they, they tend to sell well for me really good in the winter. And before I left, they brought out the Galaxy Foam Posits. These were so ugly and fake. I remember when these were super hype back in the day, but these ones were just so bad. At this stop, this is probably my favorite stop of this video. We got this nice L.O. Bean fleece pullover that will be a keeper for me. And then we got the Eddie Bauer down jacket, nice little 80s piece. The Dog Poker classic artwork t-shirt, nice little button up and super good quality on that one. Two of these single stitch Indiana Athletics t-shirts. I grabbed both of them. They're both on Russell Tees. 
the Mind the Gap London t-shirt. Nice little boxy piece for the summer. And the Del Monte. It's a cool little fruit company promo crew neck with a thousand islands. And this one, probably should have left it, but I was on a hot streak and just grabbed it. The Fox Naturey t-shirt, newer one with the vintage Indiana crew neck. Nice little IU piece. And then this one was awesome, the Patagonia Fleece. I don't find this a lot in my area nowadays because they pull it. So I was very happy to find a good Patagonia made in USA jacket. And then this beautiful earth tonal Daytona Titans Adidas crew neck. Never seen this one before. And it should sell well for me for around the $100 mark online. Double sided. And this one had like a down to it, which means like kind of feels like a comforter. But very cool piece. Never seen it before. And I love the colors. This stop, we only got a couple things, but we got the Adidas Swishy Pants, World's Coolest Uncle Vintage Crew Neck, nice little flea market piece, and then the Y2K IU Basketball t shirt, some super wide leg Nike cotton sweatpants, and a Mountain Hardware Fleece Sherpa jacket, nice little woman's piece there. This stop, continue with the Nike sweatpants, we got the cotton knit ones, and then two of these Y2K hoodies, super good quality and no flaws on those, so I pick them up. Then we got a pair of military pants and a really good size, good cargoes. Then another pair of Nike cotton sweatpants, a good unisex pair. The Affliction Thermal Long Sleeve, this one is the reversible one. These sell really well for about 50 bucks for me, so happy to pick that up with the Christian Dior sweater. Nice little designer find in the thrift. This is a really cool vintage Dutch military button up. I only see one online for like 150 bucks, so I don't know what it's worth. Then we got the really old true vintage cardigan with the fox long sleeve, nice little chain head with the chain going down the sleeve. Two Carhartt tees for $2.99, so I picked those up with the vintage Adidas piece. The Thor motocross jacket, good little four-wheeling dirt bike piece. And then the number 69 Indianapolis Colts custom Dr. Duck jersey. Got a Harley Davidson flannel, nice little wear. And a vintage dog Target crew neck, just a nice little fundraiser piece, but Really cool design and nice oversized fit with the Dickies khaki work pants. And then we got an IU hoodie and a nice Carhartt piece. This haul never ending, but nice little piece and pickups for the quick with the New York Yankees hat on the side. At this stop, we started out with these baby blue Adidas shorts. I'm gonna keep those for the summer. Then we got an IU jersey, a nice pink with a hood fur. This one sold really quick for me on Depop. Then we got a hood Utah Jazz jersey with a Chicago Cubs Hay Hayward jersey. We also grabbed this super faded out M&M's t-shirt with a reprint of the Smashing Pumpkins. Super good quality, so I just picked it up. Then we got the BB King Tour t-shirt. Nice little R&B history there. Good fade on that one as well. Then we got the Purdue hoodie. Always picking up these. These sell really well for me. And the Oakley Y2K, again, this is another like $40 piece on Depop. Oakley is hot right now, so I had to pick that up. Walt Disney World Y2K hoodie. And then a Washington Nike center check. This one sold pretty quick for me for about 20 bucks on Depop. Then we got the MSU rain jacket. Good little insulated piece there. And I don't find a lot of Michigan State stuff, so happy to pick that up. Then we also got this Jeep bag and washboard for the flea market. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed part one of this series. Part two and three will be coming out in the next week. I'm probably gonna do them a couple days apart because I have about 40 more minutes of footage I haven't used and probably about five more thrift stores I need to hit for this series. So I thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please drop a like and subscribe so you guys don't miss my future videos with this series and all of my other videos. Give them a check this weekend on this snowy day in Indiana where I'm just posting all day. And if you're doing that too, just put my videos on for some white noise, enjoy it, and maybe you guys will learn something new to pick up um, when you're out in the thrifts too. But yeah, thank you guys all for watching. If you guys wanna check out my Instagram right here, I post all of my live finds. Um, you guys will see them before they even get to Depop or YouTube for you guys to purchase. And if you guys wanna purchase 700 to 800 other items that i found in past videos or in other times before that check out my depop right here everything's really good priced and if you find anything on there that you want for a little bit cheaper just message me on instagram with what you'd like and i can throw you a 10 to 20 percent off discount depending on what it is and how many items you're purchasing but yeah i'll catch you guys with part two here in the next couple days and i hope you guys enjoyed peace